hi everyone so let's continue our journey so next we are going to build our restaurant api controller and the restaurant dish controller services and all so i will just replace this with the restaurant controller and then we have restaurant dish controller dot ts similarly we'll create a restaurant dish service I mean, these are like a couple of things we need to get these done to build the end-to-end -end APIs. So we have restaurant dish service, restaurant dish controller. Restaurant controller, first of all, we in the last video, we have done a lot. We have created all these packages. So now our structure look like this. We are using this auth package that contains the authorization uh, authentication logic that you are passing the authorization header. We are validating that you are the logged in user. We are extracting the, your user ID with all these uh, the blocks, building blocks we have added in the auth module, which is using config module. Okay, so let's see our packages. I will just give it a simple look. Auth package, config package, database package, logger types and all. This auth package we have built in the last video. So all these packages uh, added the dependencies inside our restaurant service. So when I do the restaurant service build, if I do the build here, then what is happening? It is going to build all the eight dependent projects and how we are defining the dependencies inside a package JSON. Here you can see in the package JSON of the restaurant, we are defining all the dependencies of auth, config, database, logger, all the types we are adding as a dependencies. Okay, and we can start this app we already have a docker compose uh, postgres restaurant this is exposing us this 5435 port i'm using the same docker compose everywhere this is the database name and you need to pass this in your env so what all we are passing database url host port and then this is the firebase configuration right the client email database url and project id okay so now let's start our controller so this is our restaurant controller we have only right now one API. Search API is currently public, right? Because this is going to search. And here we are passing search keyword and all. Now, this is the post, rest uh, post restaurant, right? I will add more APIs. Let's say, give me, I mean, the get restaurant by ID, right? That will be using ID. You can, anybody can catch, fetch a restaurant get restaurant by id here we want to make it as a public api or maybe a protected but it should be public because end user without even doing login can look for all the the restaurant menu options so here this is because he's trying to access the restaurant by id and if you are logged in and trying to do get so this is get by id and there is another API which is going to which you are you can access to just fetch your own restaurant which you have created right so you don't need to pass the ID so it can be simply get restaurants your own right so you are logged in because we are using a firebase auth card and this is going to give us the 200 status code this is also going to give us 200 status code this is get restaurant by id we don't have a user metadata we don't have a auth guard so it is get restaurant by id this is the api we will add and we don't need a payload okay we need a params not payload param get restaurant by id dto So let's uh, build these two APIs first. I need to define this DTO in my restaurant DTO. Okay, going to the top, export class. And we are going to have one property which is ID. So this is ID which is of type should be UUID. Is UUID, this is the one correct. UUID, UUID required true, get restaurant by ID DTO. 
let's import this in our controller okay and then we will define this method which is passing id so we'll go to our restaurant service and we don't have many methods here so i think define your dto from controller so this is taking param and here we are going to get the id whatever you are passing inside a param get restaurant by id dto this we will import and then it's all about trying to do the find operation so we can just use this repository create repo we already injecting the restaurant repo so my simple answer for this is await this dot create restaurant repo dot find uh, so find simple where close where id is this find where and this is an object so id and we'll just return it what happened Okay, there is a typo so working with typo rm is kind of simple and here we can also fetch the relations so in the restaurant repo which is using restaurant entity we do have a relations with uh, the dishes right dishes and we do have address okay i can fetch all the dishes also with this so relations let's say dishes right so it's like uh, when you are trying to fetch a restaurant you can also fetch all the dishes from that restaurant okay now this is and here i can have another method get all my restaurants so here we are going to have a user id being passed from controller so this is my controller and here i can just get restaurant and we already we just need to pass the user object because user is trying to access all his restaurants so get restaurants and we are passing user user metadata so user user metadata and here we will get a, a uid from the, the user object and this uid way we can pass to the owner owner id is uh, because this is a where clause owner id is a uid and we can also fetch all the dishes that you have added to the particular restaurant so i'm fetching all my restaurant with all the dishes so we are just using the relations i need to test it if this is really working so what how we can test it so this is my restaurant controller what happened? Uh, get restaurant. Get all my restaurants. Okay, this is the method. So controller is already running. We can play with the swagger. So I wanted to fetch all my restaurant. First of all, I'm not logged in. So I will get this error, then I will do the login or I can get this copy this token which is still valid. Authorize it, remove the codes from here. This is the token I'm passing. I'm getting I want to fetch all my restaurant. Is it expired? Okay, unauthorized. That's good has expired so we'll get the new one maybe this application is not running front-end app so i need to run the front-end app to get the token okay this is let's say running or not i have stopped both the applications so i will just run the front-end app and then we'll get the token This should be using 3000 port and the another can use 3001. Ok. 
Okay, so we got the token. I will try to test it. So, okay, something else. Okay, my application is not running in the back end. So, that should be running now on different port. npm run start dev. Okay, this should be running on 3001, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Now I will authorize it again. Better to use some other tool. I'm just using this Swagger Spec only to play with the play with the things. So here we can see the dishes are come coming empty. So this is my own restaurant, right? And this is restaurant by ID. I can copy this UUID and I can get this restaurant by ID, right? I got this. Now, the only thing is we can add the update restaurant API and the APIs which will add the dish items to this particular restaurant, right? That is the thing we can add. So this is doing a lot of joins and all. Search is something which comes later in the next video. So we have create restaurant, fetch all the restaurant, uh, get restaurant by ID and give me all my restaurant. Now let's talk about restaurant disk controller. I will copy and paste this and I will copy this restaurant service to the restaurant dish service. The only thing is we are going to use a different uh, a repository, different entities and here what happened? Why it's all colorful? Did I do something wrong? Duplicate identifier body Maybe I have copied twice. Okay. So this is restaurant dish service. And here I will be accessing the multiple repositories. No need of connection. This is restaurant entity and then restaurant dish entity. Restaurant dish repo. I need to import restaurant this entity and just change the types everywhere. So we have restaurant and restaurant dish entity. And then here we will do create restaurant, update restaurant and all these methods. So we don't have authorization, but at least what we can do is you can add a dish menu item to only those restaurant which are your own. It means you are the owner of those restaurant, right? At least this is the minimum validation we can do. And these are all our protected APIs, means only a logged in uh, user can do operations. Okay, what I did, this is service. Let's put that inside our service. Restaurant controller, copy. Restaurant disk controller, copy, paste. Now, this is still, uh, the API tags is fine. Uh, controller API tags can be restaurant dish okay this is search we don't need I will remove whatever we don't need I will just talk about create a restaurant create dish on a restaurant so it will be ID and dish this is the new API set right and this is the protected we will change these labels and all I will for now remove so this is like create a dish on a restaurant where the restaurant ID is this, right? So I will just talk about this API, rest uh, we can do. So this is create dish menu item, create restaurant dish, right? It will take uh, two argument, the user who is creating it and the body is the, the payload. Like, uh, so do we have the details defined for the dish? create restaurant dish okay there is already default DTO defined we will use it so this is my payload for creating a dish and I have a user and I need to also pass the params because ID is being passed as a param and here it is restaurant by ID DTO 
which we are already having somewhere i can use this get restaurant by id dto in this controller and i will pass all these things user param payload so and uh, we need to define this method inside disk is create restaurant dish inside a dish service it will be restaurant dish service which we need to import okay and we define this method so i will just create restaurant dish clean up the code a little bit okay just remove everything and then this is the create restaurant dish it takes three arguments the user payload and so this is first argument is user second argument is params third argument is the body and import whatever is missing okay now first we will get the user id so we are getting uid from the user because that is of type metadata and then we are getting the restaurant id right id as or is restaurant id yeah i just created alias param so we get we got restaurant id user id and we got the pay payload so here i will just rewrite another method async validate authorization what it will check is are you the one who is the owner of uh, this particular restaurant right so i will just pass two ids or maybe the user and params both here and user and params i will get the restaurant id and here we can just first get the restaurant so we already have access to restaurant repository here we will get this restaurant by id first this dot restaurant repo dot find one find one by id so we already have id okay why it is come okay we have restaurant id so i will i won't create alias this is the restaurant if restaurant exist if restaurant doesn't exist we will just take the negative case first and then we will just throw not found exception we will decide the message later so here we can say restaurant not found with id and you can just pass the id so new not found exception okay now let's see if the restaurant is there then we, what we need to do is restaurant dot on our id is same as the uid which we are getting in this so we'll just take the negative case if that is not equal equal to id then through unauthorized exception right You are not authorized to access. You are not you are not authorized to access this restaurant. That's it. And then if everything is good, we have validated the authorization, we'll just return the restaurant. So we can get the restaurant by calling this method. await validate authorization and we are just going to pass the user and param okay so if uh, we are good till now what we can do we already got the restaurant we can just do we just need to create a dish item right so dish item we can just use uh, this dot dish repo restaurant dish repo dot dot create dot save and we'll just pass the whole payload first of all we can just pass the payload we are getting and then we also have the rest we also need to pass the restaurant 
restaurant this repo and this is our restaurant object I mean we can also return this so await this dot restaurant this repo dot save the payload and the restaurant object okay let's see if it works so we are just doing create restaurant and this is restaurant disk controller create restaurant dish okay let's test it so we need to reload this refresh it okay the tag we haven't added the controllers in the module so this is our restaurant disk controller restaurant disk controller this is a restaurant dish service just check the names add that in the domain module so where are we here we have a controller and then there is a service also restaurant disk service in the domain module so that's it so import this from controller import the service we are adding them inside the providers so we get both the controllers and services added now reload this page we got this id so first of all i will try to get all my restaurants copy authorize if my token has not expired we should be able to play with this i'll give me all my restaurant let's say the, let's see the i got the first restaurant id i will try to add a dish menu items thumbnails each value of thumbnails must be an array let's see if, okay there is some class validation errors okay i added the, the dish okay now let's say i added i'm adding couple of dish menu items added two okay i will just do a get call again now and i can see all the dishes are coming with this i can do get by id restaurant dish by id just okay i got the all the so restaurant information and all the dishes right so this is simple create dish you can't access the other restaurant which you haven't created because we have a simple validation authorization logic added in the code okay similarly you can just we can just create uh, other apis let's keep it only these for now now we, we will add this search api which is important right it is going through the postgres search with the uh, simple uh, query builder we have to write and uh, you can just pass the cuisine name the restaurant name and description so you can we have to match the keyword you have typed for with the name with the descriptions with a couple of attributes right we are not using elastic search in this let's keep it very basic and we will also do the type orm paginations so we can get the paginated results that is the target for the next video so till now we have done a lot for the swiggy clone app now we can start patching the restaurants building the restaurant data and consuming that on the front end you can see we are exposing a lot of information which we have social links owner id latitude average price we can have a clean data and then we'll push all that data to the postgres